Hi friends, welcome to testing tutorials point. This is Lokesh and today we are going to discussing about multiple inheritance in Python. See in our C, C++, not C, in C++, okay. In C++, we are used for multiple inheritance, right? The similar format of the concept we are going to use it for Python also. It will, Python, it will support for multiple inheritance if you see java and c and some other programming language it they are not supporting for multiple inheritance right they are using if you they want to use for multiple inheritance they are creating for interfaces and then they are going to use it right the same uh, but the python it is not going to the, that format they are going to for cpp which they are used for multiple inheritance the same concept they are implemented into python place in multiple inheritance the features of all the base classes are inherited into a derived class the syntax for the inheritance of this one the simple example here you can able to like class one base class one base class two there are two base classes when you want to drive these two classes into a multi-driver class, you can able to base class one, comma, you can able to use for base class two. This is called, it will call it as a uh, multiple inheritance. Multiple inheritance means the two classes we are going to create, the two classes we are going to access into one particular class that is called multiple inheritance. We have another concept is a multi-level inheritance. We can also inherit it from the driver class. This is called a multi-level inheritance. It can be of any depth and the Python. The multi-level inheritance features of the base class <coughs> and driver class are inherited into a new driver class. Means now base class already inherited into a driver class, but again driver class inherit into another driver class means this is a multi-level you can able to select a inherited into b b inherited into e d or something you can able to call it any name okay means you can able to one first one inherited into second and the second inherited into third that way even you can able to see like a b c d e like that we can able to create n number of methods and each method driven into one particular section a inherited into b b inherited into c c inherited into d like that we are going to inherit and that is called as a multi-level inheritance okay we can able to see a simple example for multiple level not multi-level because our main concept is into multiple inheritance see we created just pass we are not going to print any statement just a passing statements we are going to create here okay x is a pass y pass like the pass means it will not uh, interrupt any code just it will throw as a pass only okay and a we created one uh, child class in the child class we accepting for x class and y class this is a multi multiple inheritance okay again b class y and z and the last m class it is having all the classes and also calling for b class means z is not happen like a b comma a comma z okay how it will act and we'll see and that so now we can able to see all the things class m class b class a class x class y class z class objects it will call for all the classes objects here this is a simple format of calling all the things okay this call is a multiple 
inheritance multi level means we just we are going to call for one by one it will call all the classes like that okay multi level we uh, we can able to use very less a multiple inheritance we can able to because two different uh, methods in the two different methods we are going to one plus accessing that because of multiple level multiple multiple inheritance not multi level multiple inheritance that we can able to use most of the times okay but for testing when you are going to for testing it is not required that much because testing we are going to use very less that uh, this oops concepts we are going to create most of the time with the functions and variables that functions and variables we are going to consume and we can able to use it very less times we are going to go for oops concepts it's a very less concept means uh, we'll, uh, in the when you are going to start for testing by using python uh, this much is not required okay for as per the testing this is the enough for us and we'll go for the next one is a python with robotic framework the new future how we can able to implement for the ui automation by using robotic framework that i want to start for the new framework after this you can able to go through that you can there you can able to see very less concepts on nothing will come to their places when you go into python with the selenium also it is very less concepts we are going to use it that also i'm going to start for the new playlist i hope you understand this video please like my video please subscribe my youtube channel don't forget to share your friends and colleagues thank you